Rusty just went over to hang out with the construction workers next door. Off to the post office. Do you feel like Santa? Yes. Sending a lot of women into labor. <laughs> <laughs> Iris. Oh no, that's Rio's. <laughs> Happy Saturday, off to the post office. Do you feel like Santa? Yes. Don't hurt your back. Okay. Let me get the door for you. I got it. I got it. I actually did hurt my back this morning, <laughs> picking up a sock. <laughs> I've never tweaked my back. It's like just below in between my shoulder blades. I'll get that for you. Thanks, honey. But it's in a spot that like breathing in hurts it. So can't wait to see how that progresses. <laughs> you want me to get that for you? Right. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you got it. So we've got uh, we never did make that video about what you can get out of excuses. Oh shoot. Things you get out of when you're pregnant. Exactly. So. Rusty over at the construction workers. Uh, probably. Rusty. Rusty. Rusty just went over to hang out with the construction workers next door. <laughs> so friendly. We have to each have our own and play different songs really loud so that when we stop, they all mix together. Robert. Why are you doing that? It's super blurry. Dang oh, it. Good. Seriously? I'm really zoomed in. Do you, want, do you want some help? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to do this with little kids soon. Yeah. And they don't cooperate as well as I do. <laughs> Here, let's loosen it. I did loosen it already. <laughs> that's, that's not good. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, got it. All right. I'm putting these on because the super moon looks really cool. So we're gonna walk down to the little dock that's by our house and go look at the super moon. And I needed real shoes instead of slippers. I didn't tie the other one. <laughs> these aren't gonna last much longer. No, they're not. Mm -mm. Check out how legit this operation is. <laughs> well, so we have that telescope. Yeah, that thing's awesome. But it's just not functional enough to take down to the dock, so. Oh my gosh, it almost looks like daytime through here. Really? Yeah, it looks like the sun. So there's the super moon. Earlier it was like red when it was close to the horizon. Sending a lot of women into labor. <laughs> <laughs> but not you. Man, that's <laughs> the biggest pair of binoculars I've ever seen. That's hilarious. Yeah, these are legit. Rusty, come here, bud. Stay close to us. <laughs> oh, blind. Is it really? Yeah. Nah. Not really. Rusty, what are you eating? Too heavy. Rusty, Rusty, don't eat that. <laughs> I like going to the pond and watching folks swim. <laughs> yeah, let's get the camera that. Well, right there. Cool. 
<laughs> I had it for a second. <laughs> once? Yeah, just one. There you are. So this is the view of the moon through our binoculars. Wow, you can really see the man. Neat. There's the super moon. It was cool when it was on the horizon. It was like appreciably much bigger than it normally looks. Very awkward position. <laughs> that looks so creepy. That's like the brightness of the moon shining on his eyes. It looks like you have laser laser beam vision. <laughs> <laughs> if you tilt back like that, it'll shine up your nose. Yep. Close. It's on your cheek. There, that was close. <laughs> There's our house right there in our neighbor's house. Very festive. And the house that they're building right next to us. But it looks neat in the pond. Actually, this Friday we're doing a festival in the neighborhood where we all put out lights. And so it's like ours and our neighbor's goal to surround the whole pond with these like candle lights. So we're gonna definitely film. It's really neat. There ends up being like candlelight lining all the streets and ponds throughout the whole neighborhood. So it's really pretty. It's called Light Up the Night. So Rachel's mom, she's a bargain hunter. <laughs> really sweet that, and thoughtful that she thinks of us. But she literally buys the advent calendar the year before. So they're <laughs> on sale. So Christmas 2016. And she just sent a text message and said, how are the chocolates? Well, the ones that we had last year, I don't know if they were... It was the year old. It was? Yeah. I, even if they would have been fresh, it would have been horrible chocolate. Does it look chalky? No. Not as bad as last year. Really? Yeah. Last year was inedible. They're definitely not good. Well, good thing you have three days to catch up on. <laughs> <laughs> the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Isaiah 9-1. Amen. Not horrible. Hmm. Well, good. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. This is worth getting on film. I just wrote our kids' names for the first time in a thank you note. It felt weird. It felt weird to write Lindell and Baron? Yes. Your B looks like a D. <laughs> it does? Darren. <laughs> So I'm going through updating my pregnancy book, like journal thing, and came across these. There, there's a pocket inside here. This book is awesome. There's pockets in the back so you can put like cards, which our card thing is totally full. And then another pocket where I have these from when we first found out we were pregnant. This was my very first one here. And then I had to get more to like watch the line progress. These, I guess, won't say pregnant forever, but they still do. See, eight months later. So that's cool. And then a cheapie here. It was just really fun to take different tests and see like a positive result on them because I had never seen that before. But this book is really cool. I've talked about it in some of my updates. There's a ton of ultrasound pictures. It's called Mommy and Waiting, a guided pregnancy journal for the joyfully expecting and my mom got it for us but it's really detailed as far as like the questions that it asks you at different stages in your pregnancy and it has a ton of places for appointments which is nice for an IVF pregnancy because it's like I oh that well, I'm already in the ninth month here it's nice because we have a ton of appointments as IVF pregnancy people Especially in the beginning, you get like a bunch of ultrasounds right off the bat. So they have places for all of those and all of the pictures that you get at those appointments. So it's really a neat book. I'll link it below. Oh my gosh, that was like one of the very first ultrasound pictures. Let's see if I can find. And then it has places for like Brad to write in his stuff too. Like what he thought the very first time that he felt them move. So this was 526, that would have been three weeks. This was probably our very first ultrasound when we found out that there were two. Look how tiny they are. I think the actual baby is not even really there. I think that's the yolk sac. 
So they've grown a lot. They look a little more substantial there. And that was even our third visit, I guess. So neat book. It was fun looking back at these. That's not yours. <laughs> she has it open. Iris, the tag says Rio. Don't you know how to read? Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's playing with it already. Iris, what a bad girl. Tell grandma. Oh my gosh. That's not yours. I can't believe you opened that. Poor Rio. Look at you being all innocent. She just opened your present. She's playing with it right now. She likes this more than she likes the tea from Woom and I. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know we said that we would give you the details of the 15K giveaway this vlog, but we haven't quite figured them out yet. So um, look forward to that in the next vlog, I hope. <laughs> um, I'm just parked here on the couch because I'm officially off work for maternity leave indefinitely as far as I know. So very exciting. There are a few things that I have to like take care of around the house. I need to get some bottles washed and just get a few things ready for the babies. One thing that I'm doing right now actually is looking for one of these little um, like play, uh, what do you, I don't even know what you call those things. But I'm looking for one of these. There are so many different options and I'm not sure which one to go with. Activity mat, would it be called an activity mat? So if you have like a favorite activity mat, and I was thinking about this one in particular because it looks like it has two arches, so I thought I could use it for both of them. But I'm looking for one of those. So if you have any that you've absolutely loved, please let me know in the comments below. Or on the contrary, if you had one that you hated, let me know too so I can avoid it. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Things are gonna be getting more exciting these next couple weeks, so if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you'll get alerts whenever we post new videos. If you're not following us on Facebook or Instagram, that would be the first way that you would find out. Like if I go into labor, we'll probably post on there. But we're thinking about doing like a, a short video that we can just have ready to upload whenever I go into labor, if I do. So um, yeah, thanks again for watching and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.